like our camera is working a lot better this time. It's not all weirdly dark. Pretty sure I know where I fucked that up yesterday. Uh, or the other day. If you were uh, if you were watching on Tuesday, I commented that I couldn't find this pen, and then I found this pen today. There it is. It uh, it fell out of a thing, and then it was in another thing. It was it was a whole thing. Um, hey everybody. We apparently have two viewers so far. Either of you feeling chatty? This is going to be a, uh, a probably another quick one, um, uh, and it kind of needs to be. Um, uh, I'm, I'm uh, I have to be up at 5 a.m. tomorrow, uh, and I'm already running on not a ton of sleep. <laughs> um, but it's cool because I'll hopefully make up for a lot of that lack of rest next week um, while I'm away. Um, but I need to get up at that ungodly hour, so I want to try to crash pretty early tonight. So we're probably going to try to wrap this up in about an hour, but we'll see. I'm not going to leave it unfinished drawing, so we'll see. We're going to draw uh, an octopus playing the bagpipes, um, which... Uh, my dad told a joke like years years ago. Dad joke uh, that involved an octopus uh, trying to fuck a pair of ba uh, some bagpipes, uh, <laughs> and that's kind of the genesis of it. It's not. It's not. I'm not making it sexual though. It's actually going to play the bagpipes. Um, but that was kind of what made me think of this idea, um, and it was something I could do really cartoony and broad, and hopefully do relatively relatively quick. So uh, so let's do it. Um, <clears throat> I have given very little thought. On a screen off to my my uh, my left, I do have uh, a person playing the bagpipes and the bagpipes themselves. I'm going. I'm not too worried about being anatomically accurate with the octopus. I'm gonna make that pretty cartoony. But um, want to have the bagpipes be somewhat recognizable, right? The picture of the dude playing the bagpipes. I think it's a guy from. Uh, I remember his forget his name, but he was, he was in, um, it's hard to tell because he's making this weird bagpipe face, like, as he's blowing on the thing, but I think it's, he was in Game of Thrones, he was the guy that follows Khaleesi around, and he was in the first Tomb Raider movie, he was the bad guy in that, uh, plays Bruce Wayne in Titans, been in a bunch of stuff, pretty sure that's who it is, but it's a lot younger if it is him. So, okay, I'm getting the bagpipe or sorry, the octopus head, and then we're going to get the bagpipes in position, and then we're just going to figure out what the hell I want to do with the tentacles. Some of them obviously have to be doing very specific things. Others, maybe not. The uh, This will be the first month in a while that I'm not doing the character design challenge, by the way. Um, this might have also been a genesis for this. The theme this month is uh, animal gymnasts or animal athletes I think it is and I actually considered an uh, octopus for that as well um, but I just kind of never got to it and I could have done that tonight but I knew I wasn't going to get to color it before the deadline because of me going away for a week so I figured um, uh, let's just do something else kind of fun and then I thought of the bagpipe joke and I was like you know let's do that so here we are. Anybody play the bagpipes? Anybody that's watching? Do we have any bagpipers? I have never played the bagpipes or ever desired to play the bagpipes. But I appreciate them as a thing. And I know some bagpipers. I have met a couple in my day. Debated putting a bagpiping uh, playlist on, but Google or uh, YouTube Studio only had one song come up when I searched bagpipes. But not everyone loves them, so maybe that's just as well. Hey, JC. Uh, it's the Scottish, actually. But there's definitely some Celtic overlap. Uh, you know, I don't.
don't actually know if I've ever had, a, if I ever held bagpipes. I don't know how heavy they are. Because, like, they're kind of full of air, aren't they? Maybe they're not that bad. But then the wood, I don't know. So we got that one. And then we got this one. How are you doing, JC? Wow. Wow. As an Irish descendant, I'll try not to be too offended by that. Um, so did you guys just like kind of draw straws and ended up getting comics next term? Or is there uh, more of a story there? Uh, well, my spring break hasn't really started yet, but I'm doing okay anyways. I, uh, I didn't, I had a, I set a really intense goal for myself to finish, so I'm going to, I'm going to Mexico tomorrow. Um, and I had set a really intense goal for myself to finish before I went away. And I managed to meet, meet that goal, but it meant doing a shit ton of work the last few days. Like, barely left the drawing table the entire long weekend. And then, um, and then, so everything I had to do t in preparation for the the trip, as well as some uh, other like work related stuff, like for like school um, type stuff, I uh, all got dumped on me today. And then I didn't sleep well last night because I realized how intense my to do list for today was, and that kind of kept me up. And so I really didn't sleep that well, and I'm actually feeling pretty good considering how little I slept. But uh, I don't know if you caught earlier that I got to be up at uh, 5 tomorrow morning. <laughs> so, um, uh, going to make it an early night for sure. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, what do you mean still got work? I mean, I, I have the, the week, I have next week off just like you guys do. The, uh, the school related work I was referring to is um, grading. Because if I don't grade, whatever I didn't grade today, I gotta grade when I get back. And I uh, was hoping to get most of it done so that I wouldn't have to deal with it when I get back, but yeah, that ain't happening. Hey Chantel. When was your last class, JC? You said you're already enjoying the spring break, but I wouldn't have thought you really had been off for too long yet. The Baromi accent. Uh, I just recently binged Peaky Blinders as well, watched all of it. I did it while I was drawing though, and I have to admit, I think it was one that I, I mean, I think most shows are worthy of my full attention. Um, it's just a lot of averages. It's just if I want to get through stuff, you know. But that was definitely one where I felt like there were moments where I felt like I really should have been paying more attention to follow that pattern. But I did enjoy it. It is a good show. I'm, I'm done. I'm all caught up. I've binged quite a bit in the last few Like a lot of really short shows that don't have that many seasons yet like I did uh, more at all I did um, Dirk Gently I did Sick Note which is, which is really good I, I would recommend that um, I did Anatomy of a Scandal watched all of that last night while I was working okay so now we have functioning bagpipes but he's only got two tentacles we gotta get on this and season six is the last one on Netflix I think right I think they promised one more to come later.
it's so weird seeing Killian Murphy in that role too, because I feel like I'm not used to seeing him play like a like he's a, he's pretty dapper in it, you know. And I'm not used to that with him. He's usually playing a bad guy or somebody who's kind of strung out or somebody's really befuddled. Plays it well though, he's good in it. I just not used to that from him. Also all caught up on Better Call Saul as well. Yes. Oh no, I'm not saying he can't play it, I'm just saying. Oh, oh, you're talking about, uh, you're talking to Chantel's comment. Okay, one, two, three, four. Still missing four tentacles here. Low-key wishing I drew this a little bit big, uh, smaller, so I had room for all these tentacles, but you know what? We're going to make it work. We're going to find a way. That's cool. <laughs> uh, what's your plan, JC Blackmail? saying you need to blackmail to get a job. Just saying, you sound like you intended to do this with force. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah! I almost missed one. Okay. Only need one more then. In that case. I think we can start again. <laughs> P 
cheeky fucking blinders. Okay. Oh, you know what? I, give, I was gonna put eyes on this thing. squinty eye and one really buggy eye. That works. Okay. Now we'll do the spots. I need to watch Peaky Blinders if I really want to go full brummy. Oh yours is just kind of where I land. Not on some squat. I should have it once in a while too. You know what? Where Have you ever seen a uh, Euro trip? JC. And also, if you haven't seen Euro Trip, by the way, I think you would like Euro Trip. But there's a scene in Euro Trip, and there's a line in it that I randomly quote pretty regularly. Um, these guys go into a, a pub in England, and they um, they kind of piss off these uh, um, like soccer hooligan guys. And they ask him to like sing the anthem of something or whatever, and they just make it up on the spot. And they they're convinced they're gonna get their ass kicked. And this guy played by Vinnie Jones just stares him down like super menacingly. And then he just finally goes, "Put a damn good," and then uh, <laughs> they're all just friends after that. And I think when I'm when I see something I'm impressed with, I still routinely go, "Put a damn good." You should check out your trip, JC. I bet you like it. Oh wait, is Hidden West the uh, the Horizon, the New Horizon? I keep forgetting the name of it, and then not knowing what people are talking about. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Scotty doesn't know that Fiona and me do it in my van every Sunday. I think I heard that song long before I ever saw the movie, actually. Because the movie had been out for quite a while before I actually got around to seeing it. Well, I've already fucked up my octopus a little bit because I meant to have this wrap around it and it's doing a double pass in the front whatever we'll let it go this time
Some respects, this drawing is pretty simple. Other respects, it's all these big curves that I gotta be so careful with when I'm making. Complicate everything. Uh, was he singing it to a guy named Scotty, whose girlfriend he was uh, cheating with? Tentacles should have suckers on. Or should they? I'm gonna do the suckers, but I'm not gonna go too intense. Sometimes I go really intense with them. I want there to be some degree of cuteness with this one. I think the suckers can step on that a little bit. If I go too nuts. Oh. But your name's not Scotty, though, JC. Unless it was Scotty and you changed it to JC out of embarrassment after that event. I think we might be hearing some uh, bagpipes right now. I think I detect some pipes. <laughs> she and doesn't know. Was the girlfriend named Fiona? Or did you change that too? So what kind of dick sings that to their friend after their girlfriend cheats on them? Shit ain't cool.
This might end up as another t-shirt graphic in Combat Fairies, by the way. Not committed, but quite possibly. <laughs> Proud of myself, JC. Bucky and Darcy are uh, a weird mix. What opposites attract and all that, I guess. Darcy Loki ones. It's an even harder one to picture. Plaid pattern on the the pipes. Have either of you ever seen So I Married an Axe Murderer? Michael Myers. It was a, a pre Awesome Powers Michael Myers, maybe even pre Wayne's World. Can't remember where it lands. Shut up, JC. You know damn well what Wayne's World is. Son of a bitch. Hey, Parker. You've 
seen movies you missed out on? Does that mean you actually have seen Wayne's World? I'm not knocking you for not having seen it. I just feel like you're aware of it. Uh, okay. So have you seen Wayne's World then? Even though it was So I Married an Axe Murderer that I wanted to bring up. Have you seen So I Married an Axe Murderer, Parker? So yeah, it's one of his early ones, and it's it's decent. It's not amazing. It kind of grows on you if you watch it a few times. It's uh, it's kind of a light comedy, I guess you might describe it. But Myers, as he often does, plays an extra character in it. Basically, about a guy that gets married, and then soon after they get married, he starts to suspect that his his new wife might actually be a uh, axe murderer. And then hilarity ensues, but Myers also plays his uh, his own dad, who's Scottish in it, and uh, he has a younger brother, and the dad's con always commenting on how big the kid's head is, and uh, just calls the kid head, so the kid's <laughs> like in the way of the TV and goes, "Heed, move, no." The size of the melon on that—it's like a orange on a toothpick. cameos from people that weren't really that known yet. Phil Hartman's in it. Stephen Wright. Yes, it does indeed. Well, 
11 is trouble too. There's uh, there's one student that uh, their parole officer has to actually be in attendance every every day. <laughs> Someone told you the 111s are the worst? <laughs> what? talking about JC I said nothing do we have any 111s watching that want to stand up for themselves I think JC here how do you just hear things though Actually, I kind of in my head just answered my own question, so never mind. <laughs> soundtrack but like with a slightly slower tempo and with like bagpipes and flutes and shit Also, by the way, JC, uh, Mr. Moore is my dad's name. You can call me Master Moore. <laughs> no, I just thought it'd be funny. I didn't even think about the fact that you were Asian. If that made it funnier, though, then we'll go with it. satisfying to ink with. I don't use it too often because the lines are so thick, but when, you, when you're doing something bold enough, you can get away with it. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Also, welcome, Mark. I was telling JC that uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, 111s has a parole officer that needs to keep tabs on them every day in class, but we're not going to tell him which one. In fairness, they haven't been found guilty yet. Uh, well. So they say anyway.
I blame the internet, JC. Well, I mean, they they say homicide, but I don't know if it's I, I don't I don't know that it's really true. Uh, this playlist seems to have died. Give me a sec here, guys. It's so quiet. Oh my god, it's so quiet. <laughs> Boom. Oh, shit. Oh, god. <sighs> ah, I'm back. No thanks. Tune is so early 2000s. I've got these things that I can't let go. Watch me turn this life into something that you can never wrong. I know. <laughs> You glad to have a uh, spring break, Mark?
thirst. I'm inspired by worth. I desire your worst, so you can just hide while I work. I ain't tired, you first. I'll write a second, third verse about the lies you go disperse. You never did, sh I know it hurts. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by you. So, so you're not glad? Is being at home chilling not a good thing? be going away but I would also not be complaining about staying at home and chilling myself <laughs> I might grab a bat I don't know uh, okay my blood boils over like well that's fair oh god here goes I lost all feeling from my head to my toes you said some shit that I can't I don't get bored stay tuned for the rest of the show because I always have some project on the go so the good thing about me going so the, the shitty thing about going away if there is something shitty is that I can't work on my shit but the good thing is that I really should take a break from that shit. And the only way to really do that is to not be near it, so. Probably lived Peaky Blinders. Oh yeah, you tried it? You didn't like it, Mark? It's boring because he lived it. It's old hat. That's what it is. I'm not saying he was alive in the, in the 30s and shit I'm just saying yeah growing up on the, the streets in England yeah same same deal I watched it as a drawing show myself May come in Parker. Yeah. Apparently, there actually was a street gang called the Peaky Blinders, but the characters and stories in the show were completely made up. Gotcha, gotcha. Don't you mean your flippers?
then you'd be a, a merman. Just a member of the, the merfolk. show I binged um, over the, the weekend while I was thinking was uh, Sick Note with uh, Nick Frost and Ron Weasley. I like that a lot. Uh, that was really good. Only thing that sucks though is the way season two ends. I'm assuming they intended for a season three, but season two came out in 2018. So I'm thinking it got canceled. But uh, I thought it was really good. Not what I was expecting, but I mean that in a good way. Rupert Grint, yes. Um, basically, uh, I don't want to give too much away, but he... Uh, there's basically a mix-up, kind of misunderstanding kind of situation. Uh that he kind of tries to take advantage of uh, in his favor. And then one thing after another just goes horribly wrong. And shit just goes crazy. <laughs> and uh, I, I liked it a lot. And it was actually a perfect background show because I don't think I really missed, like, Peaky Blinders has a fair bit of action in it. And as long as the show's got a lot of dialogue, even though as a, like, I would prefer to look at, to watch it, to, in, to breathe in the visuals. But if it's dialogue heavy, I can at least follow the story. Oh, Mindhunter. That was another one. I watched Mindhunter. Also recommend that, but that is some dark shit to be focusing on for uh, two full days straight. Also glad to see uh, Weasley get some work because I feel like a lot of times while watching the Harry Potter movies, I actually thought he was the strongest actor of the the trio. I think uh, Radcliffe and Watson have both done some really good stuff since then, but I kind of felt like in the movie Ron kind of had the. performance, especially in the early ones. Like, his character is not super deep. But I, I felt like there was a lot more personality coming through with him than with Harry. Okay, let's fill in these spot blacks. This might be done, guys. We might be done here. Uh, well, I mean, maybe, but it doesn't always, it's not always by choice. But it is definitely very possible. I think uh, Daniel Radcliffe has a really interesting career now because he'll do blockbuster type movies still, 
But the blockbuster movies he does, he's always playing like a, a bit part, like he's kind of this character actor. And but then he'll do these quirky indie movies of like any possible genre, and he'll uh, um, uh, and he'll be the lead in those, which I think is kind of neat. I think we're done, guys. My only regret, I kind of wish I did the patterning on the um, the bagpipe bag itself with the uh, a thinner uh, pen but say la vie um, one thing I might do actually the Anderson tartan colors uh, when I color this sure but you're gonna need to send them to me mark uh, I'm gonna throw one extra detail in here before we uh, before I close it off actually uh, but thank you, JC. Gentai? Is that like a tentacle porn reference or something? Oh, no, speaking of which, another one I watched is, uh, like I said, I, I knocked off a whole bunch of shows off my list on the weekend because they're just they're really short ones. Uh, Maniac with um, uh, Jonah Hill and um, uh, Emma Stone. And there's a pretty good tentacle porn joke in there, actually. Visual gag. I thought that was interest. That show was interesting, but not amazing. Not bad. Glad I watched it. This is why I watch stuff while I work because I would. Be I would just have to pick and choose so much to find the time to watch these things otherwise. And I would find these more quirky little kind of interesting ones. You know? But I also need to remember it because I might not color it for a while yet. Did you make that an official request? I can, I can put that on the list, JC. Um, Seth and Jules re, uh, uh, oh yes, yes. Was his name Seth in uh, Superbad? I know his character was based on Seth Rogen. I didn't think his name was actually. That's right, yeah, Seth and Evan. Yeah, okay. Very different kind of show than super bad though. Have you seen super bad JC? Well, son of a bitch. Okay, well maybe Iro will be the first one back from Mexico then if it's been on the list for that long. Sorry I missed that, JC. I do remember you talking about Iroh, but I don't remember it being a request. Okay. It definitely seems like a JC kind of movie, so if you hadn't seen it, I think I was going to blow your mind with that one. I actually uh, was reminded of it a day or two ago. I want to rewatch it. I've seen it a bunch of times too, but it's been a while. super bad to impress someone you liked how does that work hey baby watch me watch this movie like what was the th what was the thought process there or was it to learn from Seth and Evan how to get the girl is that what it was so you treated it like a how-to video <laughs> thank god Parker um, what do you mean by table? Do you mean like uh, like your price guide kind of thing? 
Oh, is that what you were working on before that you said I'll find out in due time or whatever? Gotcha. I still don't know what you mean by digital table though. Do you mean table as in like chart kind of thing? Here's a fun fact about Superbad, if you didn't know. So it was written by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg when they were like in high school. And then once other did other things, they got some clout, they wanted to make it. But they decided that Seth was too old to play a high school student. So they cast Jonah Hill instead. Except that Jonah Hill at the time of Superbad was actually older than Seth Rogen was at that time. He just looked a lot younger than Seth Rogen. Which is funny because like her in like knocked up they make jokes about how old he looks. So it's like how old is he? It's like twenty twenty-three? Twenty-three? Fuck, he looks thirty-three. Or no forty three, I think she says. But he actually was 23 at the time. I feel bad for McLovin, though. He's looking slightly too old to play the goofy teen now. And it's kind of his whole shtick. Not a ton left for him to do. Oh, Mr. Spot Black. Okay, okay, so it is what I thought. Yeah, like pricing guy, okay. I understand. Alright, we are for real done now, guys. You're probably not wrong to say table, I just it wasn't where my mind immediately went. There we go, an octopus playing the bagpipes. Something random, something quick. Needed to be a quick one today. Um, so next week I am off I won't be around um, uh, I will have some drawing implements with me I'm not going to do a ton of drawing maybe I'll post some stuff thanks Mark, thanks JC um, but no actual uh, no streams next week but I'll be back for my regular Tuesday and Thursday streams the week after that um, so the first week of May and maybe I'll be drawing Uncle Iroh we'll see um, thanks, Mark. Uh, give it eight, eight limbs out of him. Thanks, Parker. Um, so, uh, so hopefully I'll see you guys then. But thanks for watching. Have a good night, everybody. See you next time. And those of you who have a week off, enjoy that week off. See ya.